Okay, this is the Vimulus. That wow, that's a good way to start the video. Uh, this is the Vimulus layer in the Catacombs de Roma. Um, this one is a pain in the ass only because um, you have to complete this one in under eight minutes for if you want to get 100% sync. Uh, and um, I forget the guy's name. Um, someone commented on uh, the first of these layers that you do. Um, if you pause the game, um, it will actually show you the timer of how much time you have left on these. Uh, um, layers that have the timer, um, which is good, at least, you know, they give you a timer, but it would have been better if it was just on screen the whole time, instead of having to pause the game just so you can see how much time you have left, uh, so, back to this area, um, this can be very confusing just because of there's so many tunnels and turns you can take that um, some of the turns lead to dead ends um, they they do have like treasure chests there but like if you're trying to do this in eight minutes um, you want to deal with those and uh, I think there's only like two points in here where I accidentally made the wrong turn only because I just couldn't remember every single turn you have to take even though I've ran through um, this one about like five times before I finally was able to get this in under the eight minutes uh, just because it'd be so frustrating where I would think I made the right turn but I ended up hitting a dead end or there was actually a point where I actually made like a full 360 turn and came back to the opening that I first went through um, so like I think, yeah, coming up here, like, right after this little, um, cinematic, I pause the game just so I can see how much time I have left, um, like, basically, once you get to this point, it should only have taken you about three minutes or so, like, I have, like, five minutes left, so... And this is the quickest way I found to get down to the bomb here, so just uh, let go and then hit circle or B to grab onto a ledge and you can get through that in about 15 seconds. And uh, <clears throat> and for this area, um, there's like these ledges that you can jump up to, but I just found running here and then just jumping backwards, you can easily get up there in no time. So, just kind of like, like, there's so many like twists and turns, it's just such a hassle. Like, say, I'm like kind of confused. I think this is when I made the wrong turn. Yeah. Thing. Oh no, I did actually get. Okay, never mind. I. It's not the one I thought it was. <coughs> it's afterwards. I made a. A wrong turn. It cost me like about 45 those. seconds or so. But uh, once you get up to here, um, I'm pretty sure I pause it again to check my time. Um, you should have about four minutes and change once you get to this area, just to 
guarantee that you're gonna make the eight minutes. Um, <clears throat> so you pretty much just have to climb up here, and you basically have to make like a giant like U-turn to get to where uh, those guys um, exited out of this area. Uh, I climbed up here, but I guess you can, like, right on that thing there's a Borgia flag, and I think that's the only reason to go to that upper level, but every time I've gone through here, I've just kind of gone to that top area just to make sure, Perfect. Uh, up just to make sure I made it. <clears throat> And, uh, oh, coming up here, um, you can only make that jump if you've bought, uh, or not bought, but gotten Leonardo to make the jump, leap, grab, glove, or whatever the hell it's called, um, otherwise you need to climb on the other side of the cross, and then you can just kind of circle around to get to the top of it, like, um, like I did without doing that jump. But, uh, yeah, it's coming up here that I made the wrong turn. Uh, <clears throat> see, yeah. I was like, as soon as I realized I hit that dead end, I was like, fuck. And I'm like, I'm literally panicking at this point because I'm thinking I'm not going to make the eight minutes. I'm going to have to restart this from the beginning. But, uh, like, I, I'm, I can't even, like, give you directions on this thing. You just have to, it's literally the point where you just need to run through this one time or two to get an idea of where you need to go. And once you get to this point, this is the real bullshit section where you could get screwed on the time. Because you, I think there's basically like eight guys in this room. Uh, the quickest way I found, uh, if you, if you have smoke bombs, uh, just throw one down. Uh, you should get all four or at least three of them. Uh, climb up this ladder. Uh, get a smoke bomb on these guys. And then you pretty much just have to ignore these guys. Uh, <clears throat> like, jump up here. You pretty much just have to go um, level by level here. Uh, I actually almost got fucked here because uh, when I was trying to get by this guy, he actually hit me, but I managed just to fall to the previous section I was at. <laughs> And, uh, <clears throat> pretty much, once you get here, just run, just haul ass, because, and I got stuck in there. Because once you hit to this point, uh, you're pretty much in the clear. Cannot follow. And, uh, <clears throat> the what I found out later on is that once you open the chest, the timer stops. Um, I think I ended up making this within, I think I had like a minute and 51 left on the clock. No, a minute and one second left. But as I found out later, once you open the chest, uh, it's not counting down. So you can open up all those chests and get all the treasure in them. 